What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl VGC video. Today, I want to talk about what I think are the five best fighting types in the format. And this seems awfully specific. Marcos, why are you talking about fighting types in particular? Why not any other type? Why not just the five best in the format? The reason I'm talking about fighting types is because personally I think that this format heavily incentivizes you to get uh, a breaker on your team. There aren't very many Pokemon that are good at breaking things like Cresselia or other hyper defensive Pokemon. So it's extremely important that um, you find something with a sky high attack stat and the ability to deal tons of damage. And most of the time that ends up being a fighting type uh, because of their access to abilities like Flame Orb or just their high power moves like close combat. And a lot of fighting types in this format, along with that niche of being extremely useful as a breaker Pokemon, come with a lot of utility that make them just extremely valuable in the metagame. So, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day, what do you think is the best fighting type in BDSP VGC? But with that out of the way, let's get into number 5. Number 5 on my list is going to make some people upset, but personally, I think Infernape is at the bottom of the list. It's, it's on the list, so at the very least it gets something, but Infernape is ex it, it's extremely min-maxed, right? It's got um, really high speed at 108, and it's got a decent attack set at 104. You can also run it as a special attacker with 104 special attack. However, you're going to get the most uh, bang for your buck by running a physical set. The set that I have here is what I would typically recommend and what I would typically see on the ladder, being a Focus Sash Infernape with Close Combat, Fake Out, Flare Blitz, and Taunt. These are its best moves, really. Yeah, you're running a Focus Sash with Flare Blitz, but most of the time you want to click Close Combat anyways, uh, given its high base power and the fact that the only downside is you're going to be dropping your uh, defense stats a little bit, which it doesn't really matter for Infernape since it's already very... Um, it's, ar it's already very frail, but Infernape also has access to a lot of other tools. Uh, obviously, Fake Out and Taunt are very good for VGC since you can stop Trick Room or Setup, and you can also just flinch something on the first turn you're on the field. It's extremely fast, so it's one of the fastest uh, Fake Out users in the game. Uh, it also has access to other very cool moves like Encore, and you can even get away with running something like uh, Nasty Plot Set if you really wanted to uh, opt for a special attacker. U-Turn is also a phenomenal move and it also gets access to Will-O-Wisp, but honestly I think where the most value uh, this Pokemon gets is going to be mainly just the fact that it's a fast fake out user, other fake out users are slow in comparison, and it has a, it has a lot of utility with like Taunt and U-Turn. There's also been a pickup of Scizor usage recently, which a lot of teams that have Cresselia uh, have to deal with, and there aren't very many good fire types in the format uh, that can deal with Scizor effectively. Infernape happens to be one of them since fighting and fire um, are able to resist bug pretty well uh, and steal as well like they're they're able to take the hits very well so uh, that's just something to keep in mind I don't think Infernape is the best fighting type obviously at number five but I think it's one that you can make room for on your team if you're really struggling with the steel type so yeah at number four I have Heracross now this is a Pokemon I find extremely underrated and underexplored right now basically Heracross has access to the guts ability and it can hold a flame orb now like I said we need breakers in this format, and I don't think there are very many breakers as strong as Guts, Flame Orb, Heracross with close combat and Mega Horn as stabs. This thing comes close to one-shotting a full physically defensive Cresselia. Obviously, Cresselia being Cresselia can take the hit, but it comes pretty close, so with any amount of chip, you're not in a bad position. It's also got really decent speed at 85, which normally wouldn't be that good, but in a format where some of the faster Pokemon are capping out at around 90 or 80, um, yeah, we have stuff like Garchomp, but he's like in the he's in the minority there. Um, this thing's able to outspeed things like Togekiss, and if you manage to get a guts boosted Stone Edge off on the Togekiss, you can deal some major damage there. Obviously, it doesn't like dealing with fairy types in general, but if you can get that off on the one super, super good fairy type, it's going to be huge for your team. Mega Horn obviously is able to deal massive damage to everything, and Close Combat as a main stab is going to be an absolutely devastating move. Even if you get intimidated, that Guts will uh, send you to basically neutral, so this Pokemon's damage output is absurd. Guts Heracross overall, I think, is a very slept on pick that needs to be looked at more. Personally, I think if it had more usage at the moment, I would rank it probably at number three instead of number four, uh, but for now it's sitting pretty at number four with that extremely high damage output. At number three, we have Hitmontop. Now, Hitmontop is always going to be a decent VGC Pokemon or even a great VGC Pokemon. It's never that bad. It has access to so many tools that make it <laughs> extremely useful Pokemon uh, with Intimidate as an ability, Fake Out in its moveset, 
feints to break protects wide guard to protect the rest of the team and for the most part you're just going to run close combat as your stab move uh it deals a lot of damage and it's one of the few pokemon in the game with access to helping hand right now uh so if you really want to you can drop your feint for uh, a helping hand to increase the damage output of something like a crit togekiss uh with its crit dazzling gleam as it'll make it deal insane damage and it just overall has a pretty good support move pool there aren't very many pokemon with anything like this it has access to uh, quick guard which could be useful for blocking opposing fake outs but for the most part this thing at 70 base speed is going to be um pretty much above average in terms of a fake out user when it comes to speed uh since for the most part you're gonna see well spoilers hariyama uh, is one of the best fake out users right now um you're gonna be able to outspeed that thing and get your fake out first so that's good um smeargle is i believe 70 base speed as well it's actually 75 uh so you're not gonna be faster than that thing uh, however just being able to fake it out in general if it decides to go for a spore turn one is gonna be really useful so yeah, hit on top overall, just the fact that it's able to intimidate things like um, opposing Garchomp, it's able to pretty much wall out opposing Scizor is going to make it an extremely useful Pokemon for your team. So I think it's sitting pretty at number three. Next up, we have Breloom. Now, Breloom is a very, very threatening Pokemon. It is a fighting and grass type with access to the uh, move Spore. Now, Spore is an extremely powerful move in the fact that it is a 100% accurate sleep move, and for the most part, Pokemon with access to this move are pretty slow. The only faster Pokemon with access to this move is actually going to be Smeargle, which it doesn't get naturally, so I hardly count it. But at 70 base speed, if you have proper speed control, redirection, or even just disruption in the form of fake out or something like that, uh, it's going to be a very threatening Pokemon to face. You'll be able to put pretty much anything you want to sleep and just be a general nuisance. Yeah, like uh, Smeargle's main value comes from the fact that it can put things to sleep. However, it has pretty decent damage output. Uh, if you wanted to, you could actually, instead of running a Focus Sash set, go ahead and run a Poison Heal set with a Toxic Orb, which I actually used in a recent video, uh, where you spam Substitute and uh, Spore just to get you know behind something that'll protect you from opposing fake outs or opposing Intimidates uh, and just make sure the opponent doesn't get to have any fun at all. This thing also is pretty strong at you know base 130 attack it has really really good offensive stats uh so if you ever face off against a powerful water type like uh, an opposing mylotic or uh even a rotom wash uh they threaten taking a lot of damage from a seed bomb so you have to be really careful with this thing of course you can also opt to run the technician set with mock punch but personally i think that that's not the best set uh, if you do run technician though i would recommend running bullet seed since each bullet seed gets um an increase of power uh 50 percent uh, overall, meaning that Bullet Seed, which can hit five times, and I believe Bullet Seed is 25 base power. Yeah, so Bullet Seed, uh, if you manage to hit all five times, is 125 base power, meaning that if you manage to get all five times with the Technician, you'll actually get a 50% boost on that, which is an absurdly powerful move. So yeah, uh, Breloom is very scary and honestly one of the coolest top tiers we have right now. Finally, at the top of my list is going to be Hariyama. Now, Hariyama has uh, something in common with Heracross and the fact that it is a fighting type guts user, but unlike Heracross, it gets access to a lot of very, very important support moves. Uh, it has access to Fake Out, Faint, Knock Off, which are all extremely good. Obviously, Fake Out is able to flinch Pokemon, Faint is able to break protects, but the biggest one here is Knock Off. Knock Off deals insane amounts of damage after you get the Flame Orb Guts boost, but it also removes your opponent's items, which is really good for best of threes if you don't know the opponent's item, you can get that information. But also, if you think that the opponent's going to swap out, for the most part, you can just go ahead and go for the Knock Off and get a lot of damage off on them while also you know, just making a mid-ground play. Like, it's hardly a mid-ground play. It just does so much. This Pokemon is absurd. It's got 144 base attack and 100... or 144 HP and 120 base attack with pretty low defenses and very low speed, meaning it's a great Trick Room Pokemon, and you can invest heavily into your defenses to make sure you can take um, pretty much any one hit at least once. I actually have a spread with 12 HP and 244 special defense that lets me take a Crit Kiss Dazzling Gleam, uh, while still being able to live after my flame orb and hitting it back with a poison jab. Speaking of poison jab, this Pokemon gets a lot of powerful moves. It has access to heavy slam, poison jab, rock slide. You can even run whirlwind if you really want to go for something like, you know, devastating. However, I wouldn't recommend it really. Uh, this Pokemon is also one of the few Pokemon with access to Helping Hand, which could make it pretty useful um, as a more supportive Pokemon, but for the most part, you're going to want to run this thing as a breaker, and it's going to deal a lot of damage with a 120 base attack close combat, boosted by Guts, boosted by Stab, 
overall this pokemon is a menace and next to cresselia it's one of the scariest combos you can run and it's extremely reliable so that's why it's at the top of my list but yeah uh that's gonna be it for today's video this is a little bit shorter but i just want to talk about the top tier fighting types right now let me know what you guys think is another top tier fighting type if it wasn't on this list let me know why you think it deserves to be on this list and if you guys enjoyed leave a like in the video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye